Guys, I have Keaton and Dom here. Um, and Keaton and I would like to clear up some rumors because apparently there have been some comments, I'm sure mm -hmm. some Reddit threads, <laughs> if there's comments about our friendship. And we would like to say that we are still friends. Thank you very much. I just haven't been to Texas in a minute. Yes. Yeah. I haven't been to Dallas. She was living in Portland, guys. I like, was living in Portland, basically the middle of nowhere yeah. to me. And I literally get qu like comments, questions all the time. They're like, why are you not friends with Kenzie? Why are you not friends with any of the girls? Because it's like, you're always in New York, oh, and yeah. all the girls live they in New live York there, now. Yeah. And so it's like, I'm not in New York very often. So people are like, oh my God, she has no friends. And I'm like, that's actually so weird because this is probably the time I have the most friends. Yeah, actually. Like, yeah. Living in LA. And so I was like, that's really weird. And then they were like, oh my God, Kenzie was talking about you on her last podcast. So of course I went and listened to the last six episodes. <laughs> what podcast, what, what did I say that would have been... I don't know. Like, something you said must have sounded like it referred there, to me. The only thing I can think of is we were talking, I don't know what it would have been, is talking about, like, there were there was a conversation about, like, me talking about a friendship that had ended, and it yeah. was not about you. Yeah, but they must have thought, thought that it was, that about, was you. about us. Like, yes. a friendship breakup It was not moment. about Keaton, guys, okay? I just wanted to clear up the rumors. This is false. Thank you very much. Dom, do you, would you like to speak on the matter? Yeah, like, that is just fake news <gasps> AF. <laughs> fake news as fuck. Like, I just want to let you know that we have a long history of baking pies together. Like, <laughs> we, we do. really do. Shut it down. Wholesome weekends, wholesome weeks. Mm -hmm. Also, Kate and I really did go through a long period of time where neither of us and you were like way more social now even like mm -hmm. we both are mm -hmm. but we just loved staying at home and basically doing nothing it was a different time it was a different time it was yes. a different time i also feel like when you have like long distance friendships yes that's just like how it is like i don't see you for six months and then when i do see you it's like oh my god besties here we are like yes. i have so many friendships like that especially because i've like moved all over the place like same yeah. with you guys it's just like how it is but when you're not posting i guess i have to post selfie with you today like <laughs> yeah. both of you and be like oh my god me and my besties like <laughs> i swear we're still friends and then you text me you're like do you want to come to the pod i'm like Hmm. Was she talking about? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's like, actually, let me listen. Um, actually, yeah, no. Yeah, we add. We do like a Google Calendar alert every like three months to like post something. So people. Yeah. No more. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. I wanted to do an episode with Dom and Keaton where we are reading your confessions, whether it be an encounter that you've had, a dating story, a horrible hookup story. Mm. Um, and we have some locked and loaded. But I would like to offer up Dom. Wow. First, to share her most recent date. Because <laughs> the more, you know when your friend tells you, oh, like I went on a date, and that's it for day one. Day two, you know, some, some other stories and maybe a little more added details. By day five, what she told you day one to day five, totally was not even the same night. So I'm, I might learn some things on this podcast, too. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> like, trigger warning, bad date. Like, tr <laughs> like tr trigger warning, like, it's about to get raunchy. So I obviously am just having a full-blown hot girl summer. I told you guys that earlier, that I was going to participate in hot girl summer, and I have been. So obviously, we're in a drought right now. Like, yes, California is in a drought, but the field, the actual field of men that we have to choose from, it's giving drought. Mm -hmm. It's giving, it there's really no dick out there. So <laughs> I, I did what any girl had to do and go on Bumble and I started swiping. Found this guy who, he just was not my type. If you guys know anything about my type, it was just not it. Like he was giving, he was a college athlete. Very he was giving basic. frat boy. Almost. He was giving frat boy. He was giving finance man. But not in like a annoying asshole frat boy. Like no. a sweet normal college kid. Almost. Yeah, just he yeah. was giving like sweet finance bro. So just I was, not your vibe. Yeah, yeah. Just your usual at all. Vibe. Yeah. So, but of course, in a drought, desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's do this. So he invites me out on a date to go see this band that I've never heard of, but I'm down. I love a little concert. And I look up the band, and they're from the 80s, and old men really like this band. So I'm like, oh, shit. Like, here we go. The date's on Hollywood Boulevard, which or Sunset, sorry. It's on Sunset, which is just chaos. Pure chaos for a first date, but here we go. 
we meet up for drinks beforehand and he's like nervous he can't like speak get his words out he's like trying to crack jokes but they're not really landing but it's kind of endearing so i'm holding holding my breath like no, Dom literally tells him, it's okay if you're nervous. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh my God, imagine if someone did that to you on a date. Like, I, not you coaching him through the date. <laughs> like, she did. Were you guys the same age? Like, how old is he? He's 23. Okay. But like, a late 23 year old. Like, mm-hmm. he's turning 24 soon. So I was just like, okay, cool. Like, I was just like, hey, yeah, like, if you're nervous, that's okay. That's totally normal. Like, I'm the chillest person ever. Essentially, just being like, be yourself, king. Like, let your freak flag fly. <laughs> So, also, because he was nervous, he had had, like, two beers by now, a shot, because the bartender gave us, like, a free shot. I couldn't even take the shot. I was like, no. And I was having, like, IBS problems, so it just wasn't happening. So, at this point, he's just kind of, like, feeling himself. We go to the concert, and he's, like, for sure undiagnosed ADHD. Some things to know about me. I hate an incline and I fucking hate stairs. We're going. He's like, let's check out this venue. It's like two stories. And he has me going up and down these fucking stairs. And I'm in like platform shoes. And I was like looking cute. I wasn't trying to do some activities and shit. So I was starting to get irritated. Then the show starts. The show's like three hours long with all these drunk old men. It's hot. I'm like upset. I was just trying to, you know, like get some get some kisses and like go home you know what i'm saying like please don't ever say like that ever again she was trying to get get some kisses i was just trying to dom oh my god i was just trying to get drunk and nasty hey trying to get drunk and nasty that's a lot better than get some kisses (laughs) okay cut it ashley cut it out or leave it whatever you think sounds better (laughs) um yeah so i was just trying to get drunk and nasty a like let's call it for what it is so Seriously. obviously my face was telling everything that needed to be said wait and pause you're forgetting that he started every sentence out with question follow-up question oh. question but he was like every single sentence that came out of this fool's mouth was question uh i have two questions for you uh three questions for you uh quick question dom and I was like, Jesus Christ, am I a teacher? Like, this is really, this is not good. But I was still holding out that maybe we could still get drunk and nasty A. So the show ends. He's like, okay, uh, I know that wasn't really your thing, but, like, do you think you would want to go to, like, a bar up the street? And I'm like, okay, Slay, like, let's fucking do this. Like, let's go. So we go to a bar. And we're, if you haven't been on Sunset Boulevard before, it's just straight uphill. Like, it's just straight uphill battle. The bar is like three blocks uphill, just straight up the most savage hill you've ever been on. I'm in platform shoes, like I said earlier. I was so angry. My dogs were already barking. My feet were killing me. I was like, this is bullshit. So we walk into this bar. It's giving biker gang. Mm, It's giving biker gang. We then, (laughs) he's like, let's check up upstairs. Stop with the upstairs, but I go upstairs. Seven flights of stairs. I'm not shitting you, seven flights of stairs. And then we get up there and they're playing like heavy metal music. And I'm like, what's up with you and the heavy metal and the music? Like, yeah, there's nothing. Honestly, there's nothing worse than being stuck somewhere where it's just like, like, okay, the person's awkward, but like the music was your vibe. Like you can vibe out. Yeah. If it's not, then like you're screwed. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, hey, there's this place next door. We should check it out. Let's go. I've been there before. I think you'll like it. I take him next door. And he just gets like, he just starts busting a fucking move. Like, it's so you think you can dance. Like, literally. So, at some times, there was no one on the fucking dance floor, and this man was acting like he was Twitch. Like, what were you doing? Yeah, what did you do? Like, did you bust it with him or what? Like, I literally was trying to find a blunt so that I can, like, forget about what's happening in front of me like i was so embarrassed to disassociate yeah to yeah. literally disassociate and like smoke away my problems like i was so upset like i was like you are embarrassing me this is not very allyship of you like this is really bad so i this i find this guy he offers us a little smoky wokey and i'm like okay per so we're just like feeling ourselves hanging out and he finally gets the nerve to kiss me and i'm like like about time and he was actually a pretty good kisser so i was like all right i'm feeling hopeful so he orders an uber and i'm like okay yeah i'm down to go back to your place like you're a pretty good kisser (laughs) what is okay go to his place he like gets home plays heavy metal (laughs) yeah yeah right get to his place man cave 
But I'm just like, I'm over this. Like, I beeline it to his bedroom. Yeah, at this point, Dom gives does not give a single fuck. Like, like she literally just walks in. Like I tr- I'm treating him like a man right you now. You are like no small talk. Let's, let's, let's like get this, let's, let's get this go. going. Like yeah. literally, let's party. Okay. So I beeline it to his bedroom, and you know we're we're doing our thing. <laughs> and I was just like, you know what? I don't want to have sex with you. <laughs> like I don't. So I just <laughs> mid make out, like pretty close to about to have sex, and I was just like. No, I'm good. Like, I don't want to have sex with you anymore. But he he took it pretty well. And he was like, okay, yeah. And so we were just messing around. Didn't know how to do anything else. Like, constantly having to move his hand around. Like, it was (laughs) really, really, really bad. And I was just like, he had whiskey dick. Like, there were so many problems. And I just was like, hey, I'm ordering an Uber. I'm out of here. Literally crawled over him and was like, I'm leaving. And it was just really fucking bad. But I want everyone to know that that was, that was actually the date that happened. And the date that I heard about was, yeah, I think it went really well. <gasps> day Dumb. one. I think I couldn't even have. How can you process that in a span of like four hours? And then the truth That's came fair. out. And then the truth came out. It's like that TikTok you posted where you were like, the friendships. Oh, yeah. Like when there are breakup happens and you get to hear all the stuff what that was, was really going on. going on like that's so true like she's like ashamed like dom's like no no no, it's great and then like five years later she's like yes yeah, so, like, get- yeah so this is what actually happened like honestly yeah my brain was protecting me by but, like blocking it out of my memory but if you would have seen this guy like the, there's nothing wrong with him like you guys are just not for each other and there's at nothing all. wrong at all like he seems like a sweet guy but if you were to look at his profile and like not in a positive nor like negative way when she sent me, I'm like, I, I, the fact that you swiped on him, like, not anything negative towards him. No. He's fine. It's just that is so far from what, like, he almost looks like a guy that, like, I hang out with. She's in a drought, Kenzie. Cut her some Yes. Stuff. But, I mean, she has other matches. Like, it was just so shocking. And I was just like, this guy seems eager to take me out. Like, he's taking initiative. Mm. You got to take what's out there. And I... Actually, I want to go on record and say, do not just take what's out there. Don't go for the low-hanging fruit. Take it from the story. Period. This is my testimony, and I'm going to stick to it. Your testimony. Yeah. Set your standards. Set your standards and stick to them, because what I went through, <laughs> I wish upon no man, lady, or they. Yeah. That was not... That's not the worst that's ever happened to you. Mm-hmm. I think you've had worse. I probably have, mm-hmm. and my brain won't allow me to remember, so... yeah. But that I, one was the most recent. That was rough. the most recent. That was literally this week. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm riding out the trauma from that. I'm like driving down Sunset Boulevard. I see her like uphill. Like, I will with this never. Man. I will never look at Sunset Boulevard the same. <laughs> like literally ever. I couldn't even open my mouth. I was so angry at him. Mm-mm. No, you. Yeah. Um, Keaton, do you have a, a, a prepared story for us? Okay. <laughs> okay, listen. I just need to preface this by anytime I like want to bring up relationship stories or like old dating stories i only had one public like super public relationship when i was in high school so everyone like goes back to that and like yeah you guys i've dated other people in between the time <laughs> and period this is not about that guy this is not about him like lives a great life like whatever anyway i do have the story because you know i've been really hanging on to this for a long time and i just feel like it's actually crazy because i always get questions like have you ever been cheated on i'm like have i (laughs) have i babe honestly i feel like i definitely told kenzie the story because you know she lived through it but i don't know if like dom knows like the full thing no so basically like i was taught i I wouldn't say we were boyfriend and girlfriend we were at one point we were dating like fully dating i was dating this guy it was valentine's day we bought each other gifts you know he bought me a ring and i was like oh what is going on like what's happening I bought him a necklace and he played football. So I got him a necklace with his football number. That was just like what you do. It's a very Texas thing, I feel like, you know, like giving James Avery, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I got him a necklace. It had his football number, whatever. We were dating for a couple months and then we broke up. It was just like not the vibe. I went to college, whatever. We go back and forth. We're like talking on and off. And eventually we kind of get back. Like I had basically cut him off because I had found out he was talking to like other girls or whatever. Mm. So pa- period of time passes. We get back together, kind of. We're not boyfriend <laughs> and girlfriend. We're just like in that talking stage. But because we had dated before, it was very much like just put a label on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
So we're like going back and forth and it's about to be Christmas break. So I know I'm coming back to Texas. Like I'm going to see him probably. Maybe we'll go on a date. Like we're going to hang out a lot, right? I come back to Texas. I think I'm living my best life. Keep in mind, like I'm like texting him before game days, which like this is on me. Like I'm a clown. Like this is clown behavior. Like what was I thinking, you know? And I'm like texting him before game days and I'm like, good luck, babe. Da, 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 da. And he's like, thanks. Like da, da. all this stuff. But, but like, you're also like FaceTiming him every face- day with yeah. all of his like friends around. Yeah. So everyone knew like it was it was a more established was, thing than you're giving yourself credit for. Well, I was, fa- well, yeah, I was FaceTiming him every day. I would talk to his roommates. Like, I, it was just like, I just was like, there's literally no way because we text all the time and like, we're always on FaceTime. And then I should have known, you know, guy code, like they're not going to be like, yo, like you're not the only one again for like the 15th time. So we're like, <laughs> that's why I'm saying I'm clown behavior because, yeah. you know, I just kept, I kept yeah. going back. So anyway, <laughs> it's like Christmas break. I'm like so excited to see him. I go back home for Christmas break and we were supposed to hang out. And I don't know if he meant... I don't know if I had been previously blocked from his Snapchat or if he meant to put this up and have me see it. I have no idea. But he posted at the mall with this blonde girl. It was like the back of her head and they were like shopping. And I was like, that's so weird. Like, why is he posting that? Like, I I don't know. Like, I was like, I can't get mad because we're not like dating, dating. But like, that's also like super weird. So I asked, you know, my guy friends, Miles and Broderick and all that. And I'm like, yo, like what's going on with him like whatever and they were like oh like his girlfriend is in town they were like his girlfriend is in town and she came home with him for christmas break to like meet his parents and meet his family she's staying with them when i tell you i was flabbergasted okay you guys i was his girlfriend his girlfriend i would be homicidal that he's been dating for like six months like like full-on dating like not like talking like like boyfriend girlfriend so i'm like wait, wait wait like pause so I do some investigating, you know, because I'm an FBI agent. So I do some investigating. I go and I find her Instagram or whatever. I go on her Instagram and every single photo, she has the necklace that I bought him for Valentine's Day, like at the time that we were dating, on her body. And she is tagging him in every single photo. Every photo. So like he must have just like given it to her and been like, oh my God, like, yeah, you can have. And I'm like. I bought you that like when we were dating that's literally so weird especially because like she was openly like it wasn't just like oh she's wearing it in some photos she was like tagging him on the photos like I'm his and he's my like that kind of vibe so I was like oh my god I was beyond shook and I was like I could literally roast this man to the end like I was like (laughs) I am I was like I am about to do some illegal things okay (laughs) and then I was like you know what Keaton you're gonna look like a nutcase. You cannot do this. And honestly, I don't even know how I did this, you guys. Props to myself. This is like the only thing I'll give my pro- myself props for. We were texting like up until that day. We were just ca- like, that's what was weird is like we were st- we were casually like texting still while this was going on. So one day I literally just blocked his number. Like that day I just blocked his number. I blocked him on Instagram. I blocked him on Snapchat. I blocked him on everything. And I literally never said a word. Like, I was like, oh, you have a girlfriend? Like, you're done. Blocked him on everything. Never spoke to him again. Like, he's just been completely ghosted. Which, like, he never initially reached out, I don't think, because, like, he He had had a a girlfriend. girlfriend. So, like, what is he going to do? He's going to be like, oh, she found out. Like, you know what I mean? So, I just, like, literally ghosted him. And then, like, they broke up a, I don't even know, maybe, like, a year or so later. And he'd be like happy birthday Keaton I'm like oh my god oh hell yeah. no I didn't end up blocking him on Facebook so he did he did FaceTime or Facebook message me and I'm like this is not what's happening like we're not doing this no. like no. never again we were actually in LA together once and he messaged you and we yeah. just happened to be together because when this was going on we were at my dad's house in mm-hmm. Texas like four years ago and she's telling me all this stuff and then it was she, it was something and there had been a message and we were together yeah. and it was crazy yeah and what was weird is is like a couple months like after like all that happened like i had like blocked him i don't even remember like how he apologized but he like oh he m- messaged me on instagram i think or something like that and he was like i'm sorry da da da, da. and then uh, like eight months later he was like why are you telling people i had a girlfriend and i was like you literally apologized for having a whole girlfriend while we were talking and then now you're mad that i told people that you talked to me 
while you mm-hmm. had a girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, this is such a weird situation. It's not adding up. I've just never, like, actually spoke to someone and then had a whole other, like, life that they were living. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't know. It was just, like, the weirdest thing. I just couldn't get over the necklace. I was like... And I feel like that girl definitely did not know where she it came from. She did not know. There's you know no she, way. No, you know, she probably saw it on him and she's like, oh my God, I want to wear it. Yeah. And then he was like, oh my God, yeah, you can have it. And I'm like, you <laughs> should know. That, like, why are you gifting this? If she knew that I bought that, I don't think she would Hell be about no. that life. And I never messaged her. I never messaged anyone. I literally just blocked him to the ends of the earth. Yeah, she actually just went full ghost. Like, honestly, didn't, that full is, ghosted. That's so much better of a response though than going off on him because like they get you'll get like a rise out of that, you yeah. know? Or he'll get a rise out of that. Oh, he would have loved if I would have been like, oh my god, I can't believe you brought this girl home. And da da da. Like, I mean, he would have loved. He would have been like, oh, like I'm like, you know. Yeah. And I was like, no, you're getting ghosted. Like, you're literally, uh, you're dead off the. Fa- He's still dead to me. I'm like, yeah. you're dead. Hell no. <laughs> that is the ghettoest shit I've ever heard of in my whole entire life mm-hmm. dom this happens to you what do you say to them yeah what do you do what's your plan of attack they have a whole girlfriend they brought yeah. her home to meet his parents like they're vibing <laughs> <laughs> and she's twitching and like she, my and, eye is yeah. dead ass twitching eye, yeah god knows better he <laughs> knows better than to allow shit like this to happen to me mm-hmm. because he knows i will be locked up federal prison like maximum security because then i would be plotting my like i would be fucking scraping the wall in prison with a spoon trying to get out so escape. i could beat his ass <laughs> like that would be my whole entire life villain origin story from start to finish if something like <laughs> that should have been my villain origin story actually you want to know what's crazy is that this is the craziest timeline ever i blocked him because it was like christmas right it's december 20. 20- 17 blocked him i was like goodbye and i decided because his i didn't want to unfollow him make it dramatic i blocked his number so i didn't unfollow him on instagram actually i like left it but i just couldn't his stories would pop up first and i couldn't take it i was like i don't even want him to think i'm viewing his stuff so i actually deleted my all my social media apps for six months yeah. and my mom ran my social i would write the caption i would take the photo write the caption oh, yeah. send it to her and she would upload everything for six months i did that and in February, so I blocked him in December. In February, I randomly ran into Brandon one night at the club. <laughs> and <laughs> and that's when we started dating. So I dated yeah. him for like the first six months. Like Brandon, the first six months, like right after I had blocked him. I was like, thank you, God. Like Actually, he was yeah. like, you've been through enough. Yeah. You can have yeah. Brandon now. Like I was like. No, truly. Yeah, she was yeah. off socials for six months. Mm-hmm. That totally. is in. And that Same. was before you could view people on Instagram, too. Yeah. So you didn't have a choice. Mm-mm. Like I just, yeah. like, had to see it. And because, like, I didn't want him to think that I cared at all. So I was like, I, I can't, like, unfollow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. like, after he knew the cat was out of the bag, he started posting photos with her. So that's why I was like, okay, yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. When I – I have this, like, crazy superpower that once I break – like, me and a boyfriend break up or a boyfriend and I break up, um, I just never watch their story again. Yeah, Even when I haven't unfollowed them, I literally just, if I do, it's an accident and it's on my feed. I never, ever watch their story again. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm not very good at many things, but there's something about that that it's just, I won't do it. I would like that superpower. Yeah. I mean, I don't need more because obviously I'm like, yeah, well, in you're a normal relationship, married at but this like, point. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so like, I don't need more, but like, I had a hard time. Like, I, that's why I had to delete my social because I was like, I can't. I physically can't help myself. And it yeah. had been going on for it. so long. Like, mm-hmm. that was not just like a random. And that's yeah. on like some toxic shit too. So yeah. that's always the hardest. To, mm-hmm. to I'm. Go. I mean, y'all already know I'm crazy. So <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you really are. Okay, I want to um, read some stories that listeners sent in. The first one. Um, the title is Justin Bieber walked in on me in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. LOL, seriously cannot believe this happened to me, but I was at the W Miami Beach. I was a huge Justin Bieber fan at the time and had a fan account a while back. Um, made my mom take me to jail when he got released. Kind of crazy fan, LOL. Oh, oh my God. So she was outside the courthouse like, Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> but I was at a friend's birthday dinner and just was over stalking him every time he was in Miami the first time. But anyways, I went to the bathroom and they had this glass wall that divides the men's and women's bathroom. My friend really needed to pee and took the last stall. I was jumping up and down trying to hold my pee and in walks Justin fucking Bieber and bangs on the glass and was like, do you see me? 
Can I see? Because I see you. This is so trippy. Then he walked up to the bathroom while I just stared mouth open. I got my friend out of the bathroom, banged on it, and whispered, Justin Bieber is in the bathroom. And we waited, pretending to take selfies. Ended up taking a video of him walking out of the stall. We both came out of the bathroom into the hall, and everyone saw and was like, Oh my God, you were in the bathroom with Justin Bieber. Highlight of my life be honest that was the weekend him and Haley reunited and rekindled their love wait that's actually so crazy what would you even do I mean the pee would come out right there for yeah. me I'm gonna be honest <laughs> I'm gonna be honest it'd be down my leg I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> and just the pee is pouring <laughs> what celebrity would you want to run into in the bathroom like who would your choice be if we had to yeah I mean I recently met SZA, and she is, like, big A-list for me. Like, yeah. I am fucking obsessed with her. And I ask Margot and Eli, I could not gather words. Like, I literally was, like, head down, acting like she wasn't there, because I froze. I've never been, like, super starstruck I've before. I've never seen you like that. And usually if I see someone, like, I would feel comfortable being like, oh, my gosh, love you, or whatever. No, I, I I couldn't. Like, I was literally bowing in the presence. So someone like Justin, I feel like same. I'm with Keaton. Like, I would be pissing myself and being like, what do you mean? You can see. That's also a guy. Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's, that's awkward. Like, that video. Have you ever seen that video of Kylie Jenner walking in on those girls in the bathroom? And they're like, why is Kylie Jenner in the bathroom? And they're recording. It's a video. You guys have to look no. it up. She, like, walks in on them. And she's like, sorry. And she just goes like that. I'm like, that would be iconic. <laughs> like, that's, like, actually so Wait, iconic. That's funny. Like, maybe. A girl would be better, you know. Yes. Like yeah. some, like, like if it was a guy, like if it was like Harry Styles, like absolutely, like do not see me in that state. You know what I mean? Like I can't have that. <laughs> yeah, Dom would like that would be it. Oh shit! Like literally, <laughs> literally on the floor, on the ground, like <laughs> wrapping myself in a diaper. Like holy fuck. Okay, next one. My wild story submission is that I was dating my ex-boyfriend for three years. We broke up four months right before uni, but we're technically with each other the entire time. Anyways, we were about to get back together when I heard he was talking to my roommate. Shit hit the fan, and now he's dating her, and I have to live with her for the next couple of years in uni because of lease agreements, so I get to see my ex basically every day. Love you, Ken's, and keep being hilarious, Tom. There is no way... No. I don't even know what I would do. Jail. Jail. Federal. That's for not me. even like a casual ex. It's like an ex of three. Like you guys were dating for three years and then he was like, oh, your roommate's cute. And you <gasps> were still talking? I. Uh, no. Mm. I. I I don't care. Lease agreement. I would find. There's something called a sublet. A sublet. <laughs> all right. And you need to find that. That's what you need to do. I would be under the bridge before I lived with a girl who was dating my ex. Yes. Like. No absolutely way. Absolutely not. And what is it like a dorm style too? So he comes over and what are they hooking up in the bed next to you when you're sleeping? Also, like it's college. I'm, I'm wondering, like you know, like the living room situation. Like, oh, are you like is walking in the living room? room? Are they like watching TV together? Like, are they like, you know, like what are they? Are doing? they cooking dinner in your <gasps> kitchen? No, like that's actually worst case scenario. I can't even imagine. How I would literally be buying rat poison. Like I <laughs> would, li- like I can't even hold yeah that's actually a good like that's a better alternative you know instead of being homeless why don't you just like ruin their life and then she leaves you know what i mean but it has to be super subtle like then they can't know it's coming from you because you don't yes yes like if she bought bananas i would like peel all of them (laughs) and leave them like on the counter (laughs) she would know that that was you just like really like inconvenient (laughs) things She's like, who's like that? chaotic like, neutral. Like hide one of her shoes. Yeah, yeah just one <laughs> yeah, shoe would like be just hidden. Start taking like certain things out of her room. Or I like, like if she had like nice Charmin toilet paper, I would give her like one ply from Walmart. Like the things that they do out. to like Regina George. You know, they like start to yeah. cut the holes out the nipples and like yes. they start to like give her like stuff to make her fat. Yeah. Like you could just do some subtle things like that. And give That's her like smart. Foot this cream. is not healthy advice, but no, I would it, do it. No. But this is what you have to do because it, it's nothing against the girl. Obviously, no, it is against the, the guys. <laughs> it obviously is the guy's fault, but she's your roommate. She so is. But they're friends, they're though. They're friends. They knew that. Oh, like, like yes. if you're your roommate. Okay, so I'm thinking. Okay, no. No, I don't think that's what happened. Because she said she, my friend. No, my roommate. So oh. she was going into university. They broke up mm. because of that. They were still talking. And then he ended up dating her roommate at university. I so I think thinking, they just met there. Oh, I, I thought was thinking they, were they met friends. through her. Like, oh, he met her roommate through her. And then he was like, ooh, I'm a slide. 
You know what I mean? That probably is what happened because that also did you meet her. Yeah. Guys, I don't know. You need to do something about that, Either though. Way, you need to hide your phone charger every single day. <laughs> no, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I would, like, call for a crisis to, like, housing. Like, I'd be like, mm-hmm. I have a housing crisis. Yeah, There's- either way, rat poison or live under the bridge. Those are your two options. Yeah. I don't know what I would do. A box on the 405 honestly would mm-hmm. be better would than suffice. that mm-hmm. situation and i would sleep with peace on my pillow every night knowing i don't have to view that with my two eyes that is sick because that's college like there might not even be a living room it mm. might just be one dorm room mm. that's what i'm saying it when might the beds are directly next to yes. each other she like turns and your over boyfriend and sleeps over <gasps> t how does he not feel really uncomfortable with this? I have so many questions because for this girl. I know. I can so you send a follow up? Because like we really need to yeah. know. Can does, I see what he looks like? Yeah. We need photos. I need to know the living setup. Mm-hmm. If it's just y'all there, if you're the only roommates, um, and how long they've been dating now. Also, find out who his heroes are. Like, find out who oh. his big and local yes. heroes are. Like, whether he admires a guy on campus mm-hmm. who he thinks is, like, a really cool dude. Or if it's, like, someone who's, like, a D-list, like, Jeez. low-hanging fruit that you could probably hook up with. And that shit will drive him Hook up with mad. every one of them. Yeah. Every single one of them. Maybe even his <laughs> best friend. Family. Family. Oh, honestly. if he has a cousin, that's probably easier. Yeah. Brother. Yeah. Brother. Yeah, brother if you're really yeah if you're really feeling it if you're really feeling it that's good okay so this one um kind of takes me back dom you're gonna love this one actually you will too keaton i'm scared oh god this boy obviously has a j name so the alliteration of jesus his name is a great title but keeping it anonymous for obvious reasons anyways this boy lets me call him maverick let's call him maverick okay i don't know understand what the jesus thing came in the title is jesus boy so this boy, let's call him Maverick, and I have been hooking up while in college, and I had just come out of a three-year relationship and met him a couple months later, so I wasn't looking for anything. We would hook up and say hi on campus, but no dates, and I honestly didn't think Maverick liked me that much because he wasn't telling me or showing me. On the last night out of college before finals in April, he didn't go out to the same bar as me, and I ended up dance floor making out with someone else. I didn't think anything of it. It was just for fun, as most dance floor makeouts at 19 are. Mm. I hook up with Maverick after that night out and the next couple of days. Then he invites me over and sits me down in his kitchen, which we never do. He then tells me how his roommate told him that he saw me kissing someone else. And I was like, okay. Then he starts to go on this rant about how God gives you the will to choose. And I choose to kiss someone else and not be faithful to him. I literally had to cover my face to not show that I was laughing so hard, which I think he took a sad crying. But this boy, that's actually a skill, but this boy has never told me he has any feelings or emotions or showed a morsel of liking me past a hookup. It was about to be summer and then I was going abroad in the fall and he was going in the spring, so like it was literally going nowhere. And I told him that and his eyes got so wide and told me he thought we were close to dating. If God gives you the will to choose, then take the girl you really like on a date or maybe loop her into the fact that y'all are dating. So yeah, that relationship currently ended right then and there. Also, not making fun of religion, but I was not religious and him using God in a breakup conversation doesn't really work well. I couldn't agree more with you, by the way. so uncomfy. But that is so typical for boys like that because they're mm-hmm. like so emotionally stunted and they won't say that they have feelings for you and then there's all of this drama like this was literally college this was literally college literally. I, I this happened with me a few times like i got in trouble and also i the funniest thing about guys like that is they where the honest lack of accountability <laughs> is is just beyond me they've never taken accountability for a single thing in their entire why life. are you sitting her down and like obviously he's talking about this girl like she means something because his friend felt inclined to tell him like oh she was making out with some other dude bitch you haven't taken her out on a date like that's step number one how are you guys gonna go from like hooking up to being like bae that's it's communication like hello like just communicate and like make things clear because obviously she's just like living her life and he's like in a completely different world reality basically reality it also was like dimension. in college i'm sure we've all had the friends that are like hooking up with a guy on and off and like he's never expressed a, a single ounce of feelings mm-hmm. towards a girl and the girl thinks that they're like together and dating mm-hmm. which is like i mean i'm sure it goes both ways but mainly i think that is largely like a girl thing with guys 
and then this is flipped and it, yeah. it, he's just i hate him i yeah. hate him also yeah. i'm like leave the good lord's name out, out of, it. of it like how dare you i hate that yeah bring our kind jesus into this <laughs> fucked up story like that it's just don't not drag right. him down with you yeah. don't bring him into this this is not what this conversation i had a guy when i was like a freshman in high school and he was a senior i remember he had like a crush on me and like my mom was like absolutely not and like at the time i was like mom like it's so cool but like actually no what are you doing yeah. yeah and he was like heavily pursuing me and he was a christian and he was like like knew that I was a Christian so he was like texting me long messages being like I just feel really strongly that like God is putting yes. us together and I was like oh my god and I was kind of being like wait like what if he's right and my mom was like girl <laughs> if you don't stop she I like read her the text messages and my mom was like absolutely not she's like that is so manipulative that is not what he's saying da, 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 da. and I was like he really almost had me though like yeah. he really almost had me thinking this is my true love yeah. like what is happening like why do they do that that is a real thing they like the amount of guys who why? told me that god told me or like dms or whatever like god told me when i was in this world like that we're gonna get married or like god told me this or god told me that it's like it is so crazy yeah. these people are crazy also, why isn't god telling you any more useful information yeah literally like, what? like how to invest yeah like, like how to invest what like property to buy yeah. tell me something interesting to fill like, your bank account yeah. to get a job what's the status on that i would really love to know babe because yeah. he's telling you really not useful information because that Cause i'm not the one yeah not the one Last one. Okay, I'll start off by saying I absolutely love the podcast. Do me a favor and let Dom know I also tend to overshare and shop too much, so she's not alone. Thank Lastly, you. Keaton, I've been a YouTube viewer and admirer of your content since prior to attending ASU. I love how she's undeniably herself and owns it. Y'all are amazing women. I mean, read more. I love compliments. <laughs> Guys, this is great. If anyone wants to send more compliments, feel free. That was beautiful. Thank you. That was I really, really beautiful. I more after everyone told me I wasn't friends with Kenzie. Anyway. Yeah, so the, yeah. the first sentence has two major red flags i met this minor league baseball player on eh. tinder <laughs> eh, wrong. Eh, rock we went to texas roadhouse great place to go that is incredible the okay. rolls oh my god i would kill to be there right now the peanuts everything we went to texas roadhouse on our first date and he let me order first i wanted a margarita and i guess i assumed he would also have a drink so i ordered a margarita and the waitress asked if i wanted the extra kicker of the patron I wish you could see what this ends up being because I know what it is. And you think that you're just getting an extra shot in your margarita, and that's not what's happening. So I ordered a margarita and the waitress asked if I wanted the extra kicker of the patron. I deal with bad anxiety and it was it was incredibly horrible the specific year because of work and school. I said sure because I was super anxious and nervous. However, when it was his turn to order, he denied a drink and stuck to water to stay on a diet considering that he was trying to make the pros. Now I've never been to Texas Roadhouse while at a legal age to drink alcohol. The next thing you know, Miss Waitress comes over and brings what is literally a bowl claimed to be a margarita along with the extra kicker. It's literally like a I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Yeah, it's, it's like this big. Yes, it's, it's like, like huge. It's probably like two or three times the average size of a goblet, which is already massive. Plus, you have extra shots. Like this is not just like oh, a cute little mark that you're getting at all. Okay. Um. Next thing. Okay. Now I'm all for first impressions, but at this moment, I knew I it didn't look good. LOL. Homeboy also paid for the first day, and I hate wasting food and money, so best to leave, I finished the glass and was a little lit for the rest of the night after being dropped off back home. I was quite embarrassed after because I thought I'd be judged, but we kicked it off and went on two more dates afterwards. However, he eventually ghosted me after he left for the new season, and it made me realize I am always undeniably myself, and if someone can't accept that, it's their loss, period. Period. Oh, period. That was really good. I like the ending to that one. Like it's yeah. not sad. Like no. it's not ghosted, but like it's done. You know. And you and she's better for it. Way <laughs> better for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I wanted to just share this one because of two reasons. One, be a little bit more careful. Two, and the we actually in the live show. Do you remember that? Like he's a ten, but he's like a yeah. whatever. You know what? I love people going after their dreams. The real thing is that why are, I didn't know people were still on Tinder mm. until recently. Like, I actually know someone in my life who is still. Are you on Tinder? I'm permanently banned off Tinder. Wait, why? <laughs> what did you do? So this is, one, this is another tale. Um, it's, it's a scammer tale. Um, so someone close to my life, she does OnlyFans. Uh, and that's how what oh. she uses to promote her OnlyFans. And she, they, like, flagged her account because they realized what she was, like, using her Tinder to promote her OnlyFans. Um, so I was like, girl, get your bag. Like, keep that bag up. So I let her use my number. 
And now all my devices and my numbers are permanently banned off Tinder. Okay, well, that's fine. Ten, and that's Tinder Swindler you. Part 2. Yeah, yeah, Tinder Swindler Part 2. And I was <laughs> like, keep dumb. your bag up. Like. But let's, let's go on Hinge. Let's go on Bumble. Let's move with the times. And I will feel for you because unless you understand how big this margarita is, like you don't understand the story about it is really crazy. Yeah. Um, not the worst thing ever. I loved, I love the confidence after it, but I would suggest maybe moving to a different app. Yeah. There are times when I wish I could go back on Tinder. Why? I don't know. I think it's maybe because, well, my best friend actually married. She's married to this really sweet, wholesome yeah, guy. Crazy. And they met on Tinder. And they're like, just, they were so in love. Like, I knew. But I'm talking about in the year now. But even then they met. That was not that long they ago. They met in 2020. Interesting. So, yeah. see, I'm not, I don't know. I've never used dating apps. So I don't know what the difference in some of them is. Tinder like, is like no one uses it really at all yeah tinder like, done i don't hear anything about that i feel hinge is like hinge the thing. is like the hinge one. is where it's at hinge hates me sorry that was <laughs> sorry so are you banned <laughs> off every dating app no i mean hinge literally the algorithm treats me like i am the roach walking on the side of the street mm. like have you seen that video of the rat in new york city like on the subway with the slice of pizza me <laughs> yeah same yeah. That is literally how Hinge sees me, based on the most compatible. When I get my most compatible, I'm it's literally so like, humbling. <laughs> it is so humbling. I'm just like, uh, that is really, 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 really. Re- <laughs> I can't even finish my thought. It's really done. It's really yeah. not it. I just can't believe that you're banned off Tinder. I'm banned off Tinder. It would be way better if it was for something that you did, though. Yeah. I know. I will. I used to get flagged as a bot. Like, people used to think I was a bot. And I was like, y'all think I'm sexy like that? <laughs> like, they thought someone was catfishing you? Yeah, like, they thought, like, I was, like, catfishing. Like, men would, like, report me as, like, a bot. So I'd have yeah. to send, like, one, three fingers up. Like, two no fingers way. up. Like, one finger up. <laughs> what? Stop. Yeah, like, confirmation that I'm, like, myself. And then I was like, oh, y'all think I'm sexy like oh that? Oh, my God, I'm cute. <laughs> Wait, like, have, y'all think I'm a bot? Have you ever, like, has your photos ever been used on a dating yes, app? Yes, yes. I, I had a photo used of me on a dating app, and this really, like, he was, like, so cute. Like, he wasn't my type. Like, he was, like, so cute and kind. And he, like, DM'd you on Instagram. And he was like, I just found your Instagram. And, like, I'm just wondering, like, have we been talking? Da, da, da. It was, like, this whole thing. He lived in Dallas, and he was, like, fully obsessed with whoever it was that he was talking to. But he found my photos. And I was like... I'm so Aww. sorry. Like, I'm not. It was so sad. Like, why do people do that still? I've, I will get DMs from people being like, hey, I saw your photos being mm-hmm. used on an app. But no one that's ever been, like, talking, like, dating. Yeah, with someone yeah this guy was, it. like, dating, like, me, essentially. But, like, not me. And, like, when he DMed me, he was, like, re- and then, like, after I was, like, no, like, that wasn't me. I'm, like, in a relationship, da, da, da. He was, like, okay, well, like, if you're ever in Dallas, we could. And I'm, like. Babe, no. like, it's not me. Like, I'm not interested. I'm so sorry. Like, this is not me. That this is not what we're doing. Just, like, no, absolutely not. No. Mm-mm. Hell no. Well, maybe she can find someone who will also get an extra shot of Patron and yeah. get a bowl. Yeah. That'll be good for her. That would be. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. You know, cheers it up with your I bowl. I love that. Yeah, you have to find someone that's really find someone for who you. Compliments down to you. clown. Yeah. Find someone who compliments you and is down to clown. Okay, guys, this has been a great episode. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, where can they find you both? <laughs> I was like, I don't know who's going first. I was first. waiting on Dom to go. Um, you can find me on Instagram. I'm not even going to say my name. Just type in Keaton Milburn. I literally can't stand it. K-K-E-E-A-A. Yep. Yeah. K-K-E-A-T-T-O. Yeah. And then um, YouTube, Keaton Milburn, and TikTok. I'm not sure. I thought TikTok wasn't going to be a thing. So when I made it, my username is Keat Keat on the beat. And I love it. I love that. I just was like, oh, TikTok is quirky. Let me change it up. And now I kind of don't like it, but it is what it is. So You know you can change it, though. I can. Yeah, because I changed mine to Kinsey the Texan. But I like your username. But okay, you can change it. Maybe but you should it. keep it. Because having a fun TikTok username is fun. Like more of the vibe. Yeah. It's more of the vibe. Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Dom Roberts instead of an E. It's an X. I am on Kenzie's YouTube channel all the time. I'm going to start saying that. I'm just going to start throwing out your YouTube channel. And um, you, I'm on TikTok, and I'm unhinged on there. And my at is Dom Not a Teen Mom, or you could also type in dom.org. 
up to love. you. I love your TikTok. Thank it's you. Amazing. Good follow. It's a great follow. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Love you. Thanks, love ya. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know by giving it a nice thumbs up and subscribe for more.